today I'm going to talk about the Studio Live 32S and I'm going to show you how to send effects from your Studio Live to your door. The articles out there are a little bit complicated, so I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. We're going to come from a point where you already know how to use the effects in your Studio Live. So we're going to go straight to how to send the effects to your door. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm using Studio One. I'm going to create a new song and I'm just going to basically call it Effects Project. I'm going to make sure I've got my universal control open. Okay, so the first step, we'll press the Mix One button over here. And we're going to go to this little screen here and we're going to find the little, almost like a figure eight that says Link. And we're going to link that. So basically, these two are going to light up. So now we've got Mix One and Mix Two linked. Secondly, we're going to press Mix Three and we're going to repeat that process. So we're going to press Link and then we're going to press Mix Five, press Link, Mix Seven, press Link. So now we've got four linked mixes Mix One and Two, Mix Three and Four, Mix Five and Six, Mix Seven and Eight. We're going to make sure that they're all analog inputs and none are on USB. Now that you've got your mixer set up, we're going to go and press the home button to get to this screen. We're going to press audio routing. We're going to press digital patching. Now we're going to go and press US sends. Click on that and, and go all the way down until where it says 41. We're going to press 41, USB 41. And now you can see that it's it's sending nowhere, all right? So now we have to send this to mix one. So we're going to press that. We're going to scroll down. And when you see mix one, you press that. So now I've got USB 41 assigned to mix one. Now you press USB 42 and you assign it to mix two. And then you press USB three and you assign it to mix th three. You repeat the process, press 44, and you assign it to mix four. It's a little bit tricky to press, but you'll get there. USB 45, and you assign it to mix five. USB 46, and you would assign it to mix six. And then you do USB 47, and you assign it to mix seven. USB 48, and you assign it to mix eight. So basically you've got 41 and 42 is effects A, 43 and 44 is effects B, 45, 46 is effects C, 47, 48 is effects D. Okay, so now that we've done our digital routing and we've got our mixes set up, we're going to go to mix one and two, and we're going to find where the microphone is plugged into, which is 25. And I'm going to put that to Unity, so put the microphone up. And then we're going to go to the effects A and put that up. And then we're going to go to mix three and four. Find where the microphone is, 25. 25, put that to Unity. And then go to effects B and put that to Unity. And then go to mix five and six and repeat the same process. Put the microphone to Unity and then put effects C to Unity. And then go to effects seven and eight, put the microphone to Unity, and then put effects D to Unity. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to our Studio One screen, click Studio One, Preferences, Song Setup, Audio Setup, Inputs, what we're going to click is we're going to add stereo and straight away I'm going to name that effects A. Now I'm going to I'm going to go where it says I'm going to click 41 and 42. Then I'm going to add another stereo and I'm going to name that effects B and assign 43 and 44. Then I'm going to add another stereo and Name that effects C, and I'm going to add 45 and 46, and I'm going to add one more stereo, 
and call it FX D. And I'm going to add 47 and 48. Apply. And I'm going to click over here where it says make default. Yes, and I'm going to click OK. Okay, so now we have to set up the tracks. So we're going to right click, add a mono track, make it my focus right preamp, which is coming through track 25 on my mixer. Then I'm going to add a stereo track. And I'm going to click the drop down arrow. And I'm going to click effects A. I'm going to add another stereo track. I'm going to click the drop down arrow. Add effects B. I'm going to do it another time. Track stereo. Click the drop down. Add effects C. I'm going to do another add stereo track, click the drop down, and I'm going to add effects D. So now I've got effects A, B, C, and D, and I've got my microphone dry signal. Now we're going to arm all the tracks. So right now, you should just have signal on your microphone. Now we're on the universal control page, and I've just left this bit here so you can see the tracks that are, that are armed on my Studio One. As you can see, there's signal on track one, as I talk into the mic, there's signal there. If I was to press unmute on effects A on my mixer, we'll be able to hear reverb, but you can see on track two, there's no signal. We're gonna to have to click aux one, and we're gonna to have to make sure that both our microphone is on unity, and our effects return A is on unity. Then we're gonna to have to go to aux one, and this main button here, fader, sorry, we're going to have to put to unity. So as we put this to unity, we can start seeing signal on track two on the door. We'll be doing the same thing on aux three over here, checking that your mic level is on unity, checking that effects B is on unity, and checking that aux three is on unity. Then you're going to see signal coming in your door from the effects B into track three on Studio One. Let's, so let's do effect C. So go to aux five. Make sure your mic's on Unity. Effect C is on Unity. And aux five main is on Unity. Then we can see signal on track four on your door. Then we're going to go to, to, to do number five. Track five on the door, which is effects D which is on aux seven. Make sure the mic is turned to unity. Make sure effects D is turned to unity. And aux seven is on unity. So now we should start seeing signal in all armed tracks. Okay, so now that we've got all our levels set up and we've got our tracks armed, we're gonna experiment with reverb to start with. So I'm gonna disarm these tracks and I'm gonna keep effects A and the microphone tracks armed. Now I'm going to unmute effects A on my mixer and we should be able to hear reverb coming through the headphones or the monitors and then I'm going to record a couple of seconds singing. La 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 Okay, so now you can see a dry signal recorded and you can hear an effects track recorded too. So I'm going to mute the effects, so we're back dry again, and we're going to listen back to that. La 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 Over here we've got the mix, bring down the effects A that we just recorded on track 2. We're going to bring it down to zero, and we're going to bring the, the dry signal straight out. La 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 So there's, there's, no, uh, there's no effect on it. So if you want to add effects later, la, 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 you just bring the fader up, la, 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 and you can control la, la, how much reverb you want. Okay, that's pretty much it. And you basically repeat the process with all the other effects. For example, let's delete that, and just say you want to record delay, or whatever you've got on effects C. We're going to disarm effects A, we're going to arm effects C. So now we've got signal on effects C. We're going to unmute effects C on the mixer. La. La, la, and I've got la, a ridiculous delay. So now we're going to record that. La, 
la pa la pa di pa di di o di 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 ga a di ga a di ga a. All right, I'm gonna mute effect C on the mixer and press play. I'm gonna put the level high on track four. Actually, I'll keep it on zero and I'll put it up slowly. La pa di pa di di o di 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 ga a di ga a. Obviously, there's a bit of splashback from the speakers because the mic's right near the speakers. But if you record with headphones on, it should be a hundred percent dry signal on the main mic. Now there are a few shortcuts you can use to access your AUX inputs. Basically on this side of the, of the master fader, there's three buttons here. You've got your AUX inputs, which is basically the level of your effects A, B, C and D. And then if you click mix effects master, it's basically turns these into four stereo channels, which is your effects. Mix one, mix two, mix three and mix four. Instead of going to your universal control and controlling the main uh, level, you can control it from here. So the main overall level of your auxiliaries and your stereo mixes. So basically I just press the mute button on each stereo track and it just keeps it muted. If I want to just record reverb to my DAW, I'll unmute that stereo channel. If any of you want to know how to use effects before going to the door and how to even get the effects working, there's a lot of good videos on YouTube that explain how to do it and I advise you learn how to use the effects on your mixer before you send them to the door. I hope I've helped some people out there. Thanks.